Hey there, crypto market fam. We've got some juicy updates that you won't want to miss. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the latest in the world of cryptocurrency. Stuart Alderty, the chief legal officer of American payments firm Ripple Labs Inc., has shared his take on the firm's new payment license tapped from the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Alderty hailed the disposition of the MAS as it concerns the regulation of cryptocurrencies. He said the Apex financial regulator has built a workable framework that truly units consumer protection market integrity and innovation. Alderty also outlined how the MAS has also outlined a clear taxonomy to classify and regulate digital assets, making it possible for companies like Ripple to build and offer compliant products. Ripple CTO and ProXRP lawyers Deaton and Morgan have reacted to Max Kaiser's constant criticism against XRP. For context, Kaiser is known for his unending attacks against XRP. Kaiser backed the SEC for suing Ripple in December 2020 and alleging the cryptocurrency is an unregistered security. The Bitcoin Maxi speculated that Ripple would lose the lawsuit against the SEC. Meanwhile, Australian-based lawyer Bill Morgan highlighted the possible reason why Kaiser usually applauds the SEC. Reacting to Deaton's comment, attorney Morgan said, Kaiser believes Bitcoin will benefit the most from SEC's enforcement actions. Interestingly, Ripple CTO David Schwartz further explained attorney Morgan's remark. Just as the government suppressing Bitcoin might be good for incumbent banks, said Schwartz. In addition, attorney Ditton said, although many Bitcoin maxes claim to be libertarian, they still celebrate SEC's gross overreach. MasterCard has expanded its Engage program, which links potential card issuers with partners that can provide appropriate technical expertise to help bring cryptocurrency card program to market allowing a growing cohort of crypto firms to leverage the credit card giant global network, according to a press release. MasterCard Engage helps cut the time it takes to bring crypto cards to market and creates crypto-to-fiat conversion capabilities, MasterCard said. The system identifies and builds partnership with companies that issue cards or are BIN sponsors looking to launch a crypto card. We hope you found this video both informative and engaging. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and share it with your friends and family who might be interested in crypto news and updates.